Good morning, uh, students. Today we are going to learn about the Wagner-Nelson method. Now, the Wagner-Nelson method is used for the estimation of Ka, that is, or given by a small a, that is, absorption rate constant. Now, the absorption rate constant or Ka can also be determined by the curve fitting method. The Wagner-Nelson method is an alternative to the curve fitting method. And the advantage of the Wagner-Nelson method is that in this method we do not have to assume that whether the drug distribution absorption process follows a first order or a zero order process. This method involves the estimation of the percentage unabsorbed plots. How do we do this method is now first of all what we are determining is that the amount of drug absorbed in the body at any given time carefully listen once again the amount of drug absorbed at any given time t is given by say xa xa is the amount of drug absorbed at any given time t in the body xa is going to be equal to x plus xe now x is equal to x plus xe what is x x is the amount of drug in plasma Xe is the amount of drug that has been eliminated from the body. So, the amount of drug absorbed with, at any given time t is the sum of x plus xe. Therefore, now as we have studied that x can be given by Vdc. What is Vd? Volume of distribution. C is the plasma concentration. Now, similarly, Xe can be given by Ke into Vd AUC with the limits going from time 0 to time t. This has already been covered in one compartment models. Now, substituting these values in equation 1, what do we get? Xa becomes Vdc plus Ke Vd AUC limits from 0 to time t. The amount of drug absorbed at any given time t can be given by this equation. Now, if we consider the amount of drug absorbed in the body from time 0 to infinity, over here the limits are from time 0 to time t, if we change these limits from time 0 to infinity, what will happen to this equation? x a infinity becomes v d c infinity plus k e v d a u c area under the curve the limits changing from time 0 to infinity we are considering this as equation 2 now carefully note this point that concentration to the limit infinity is going to be 0. See, since concentration z becomes 0, therefore this term will become 0 or we can say that xa infinity becomes ke vd auc limits 0 to infinity. Consider this as equation 3. Now, in order to determine the fraction of drug unabsorbed, the fraction of drug unabsorbed is given by Xa upon Xa infinity. This is the fraction of drug unabsorbed. Remember in the Wagner-Nelson method we determine the amount of drug that is still unabsorbed. So in order to determine the amount of drug that is still unabsorbed, we determine the fraction xa upon xa infinity which is nothing but we have to divide equation 2 by equation 3. So what do we get? Vdc plus ke vd auc divided by ke vd auc infinity to c. In both these equations we have one term which is common vd 
VD and VD. So cancelling out the term VD, what do we get? XA upon XA infinity becomes C plus KE AUC time from 0 to T. I hope it is visible to all. Over here also VD gets cancelled, so the remaining part is KE AUC limits from 0 to infinity. This is what? This is the fraction of the unabsorbed. Fraction unabsorbed. Now, in order to find the percentage of the drug unabsorbed, percentage of the drug unabsorbed, what do we do? It is given by 1 minus xa upon xa infinity multiplied by 100. Okay. That is 1 minus c plus k aux times t 0 divided by k aux this whole multiplied by 100. This fraction or this equation is going to give us the value of the percentage of drug unabsorbed. That is what is required to be determined. Now, I am just moving this part from here. If we make a curve, a semi log plot with time on the x axis and log of percentage ARA, what is ARA? Amount remaining to be absorbed. This fraction is ARA or amount remaining to be absorbed. What do we get? We get a straight line curve like this with a slope equal to minus Ka upon 2.3 from where we can determine the value of Ka or the absorption rate constant. So in order to sum up once again the wagner nelson method, do remember that we determine the fraction Xa upon Xa infinity. What is this fraction? This is the fraction of drug absorbed. Fraction of drug which has been absorbed. Sorry, this is slight correction over here. This is the fraction of drug which has been absorbed. Now, in order to determine the fraction of drug unabsorbed, we subtract this fraction from 1, that is 1 minus this. To determine the percentage, we multiply with 100 and we get the ARA or the amount remaining to be absorbed. Remember, ARA is amount remaining to be absorbed. Using the a semi log plot of ARA amount remaining to be absorbed versus time, we get a straight line curve in which the slope is minus Ka upon 2.303 from which we determine the value of Ka or the absorption rate constant. So students, this method is easier as compared to the curve fitting method and it gives more accurate results. Okay, one more thing is the disadvantage of this method is that this method can be used only if the drug follows one order, one compartment model. Only in case it follows one compartment model, not in the case of two compartment or multi compartment models. So students, please go through this derivation once again, go, uh, go through the book, read it once again and in case you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.